Hello, this is Leah with Scraptastic Patchwork. Welcome to my quilt along, the scrappy improv quilt along called Scraptastic Calm in the Chaos. At this point, the hand stitching is done and I'm going to now switch over to my walking foot. I'm gonna show you first on the sample that we used a couple weeks ago or I guess it's a week ago now. <laughs> Time. It means nothing. <laughs> I'm going to show you in the sample what I've rigged up on my machine for a quilting guide. As you know, my quilting, my walking foot does not allow a quilting guide on it. So I have rigged it so that it does so that I can have equal distance two inches as I do my spiral out to the end of this quilt. So let me switch over to the machine and the sample. So this here is a walking foot that has the ability to have a quilting guide in. So you just kind of put that in there and you can adjust it however you want so that you have an equal uh, a set distance that you can have a guide for. And you can put it on either side. And set it. However, mine does not have that. And I looked everywhere and to try to find one that did and it just doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I have this other thingy guide. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I am going to attach that when I put my walking foot on here, I'm going to attach that along here with my screw. And I've already marked my two inches here. And that way I have the ability to have a guide for myself on the left hand side when I do my walking foot. Took some maneuvering, but I was able to get that screw tightened inside there. Um, this, you know, it's a U-shape thing. I couldn't keep this open part on the top here because it just did not fit. So it was kind of a tight squeeze, but I was able to get it attached to my walking foot and I changed my needle too. So here we go. Okay. So this is the end of my hand sewing right there. I'm going to put my walking foot just one stitch over. Obviously my stitches are going to be different because these are bigger hand stitching and I'm going to be doing walking foot on a machine. But uh, I did put my stitch length up to three. So that was a little bit bigger. However, there's going to be a distinct difference. I don't care, but you know, you guys can work with whatever you'd like to do to blend that if it bothers you. Um, also, here's my mark that I made. Um, that is from my where my stitches are, where my needle is over to this mark that's two inches. You can see that it's not lined up with my hand stitching here. So what I'm going to do is just gradually work up to that two inches. So I'm going to start stitching and see how it starts to look. Uh, the other thing is I am, I don't normally pull my, my bobbin thread up and knot it. If that is something you do as a quilter, you can go ahead and do that. I usually just do a back stitch. It doesn't bother me, but certainly if you're looking for um, more neater start and stop, then you, you want to do something a little bit better, a little bit more, I guess, professional. I don't bother with that. I just go with it. So I'm just going to do a couple stitches and then back. That's all I do. So I'm just going to very slowly work my way back to two inches here and there I am 
There's my mark right there to my two inch line. So now I'm going to just gradually do that curve, that spiral, keeping my eye on this mark that I've made to, here I'll move over my camera so you can see it's, it's a bit more lined up from this angle. So my mark is on my stitch line to the left of my presser foot, my walking foot. So a couple of things. One, my attempt at doing this the first time was way off. I have never worked with a quilting guide before. So I had to remind myself constantly to look at my quilting guide, not my foot. <laughs> so that's a, a little tip. Just make sure you're watching this, not this. Also a reminder when you're doing a walking foot, it's a slow, steady pace. It's not fast. And then third, I will be switching over to my quilt soon because I'm going to run out of space, obviously, but I just wanted to kind of get the hang of this guide before I switch over. So let's start this. Reminding myself the whole time to watch the quilting guide and not my foot. So I just had a tiny wobble here at the beginning, but for the most part, I think that turned out really nice. Now let's move to the real quilt.
that's what this thing is. It's a it's a company from Australia, but they make um, fleece hoodies slash blankets. So it's just one size. It's humongous. So I got one because I thought it would be kind of fun to make, like a DIY upcycling project. Um, and I thought it would be fun to wear, like when you're watching TV, you know, snuggling on the couch or whatever. But I live with old people and the house is never cold enough to justify this. So it has become my car coat when I run them to appointments or errands or something. So it's nice and cozy for outside, but it's super super warm for inside because it's Sherpa. So anyway, I got a blanket that I want to do it. So that's a future video. That was the whole point of that. Okay, so here is the quilt. That was by far the most fun I have ever had quilting. So that will be probably my go-to quilting design from now on. Love it. Absolutely love it. Later in the video, at the end, I will have close-up shots so you can see it a little bit better in the back as well. So I highly recommend going for this spiral design. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to play around with my next quilt, starting with the walking foot, seeing how small in the middle I can get that spiral and go out. Uh, love it. Love it. It'll be fun once I wash it too. So I just rough cut trimmed and so by next week I will have it squared up and then we're going to this will be the last episode next week we're going to instead of binding we're going to face it and label it and I have a really cool idea to combine those two plus it's also for hanging so we'll cover that next week and then we'll be done we'll be done with this project and I can put it up on the wall. Very excited about that. Okay guys, stick around for the slideshow and I will see you next week. Bye.